Everybody, welcome to your new moon in Scorpio Tower reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I'm having a lot of problems with my different microphones that I've been buying. I don't know if it's my computer or the jack where it plugs in, but it sounds good when I record. And then when I play it back, it sounds terrible. So I don't think it's the mics, but I'm tired of playing games. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay because when I go live, this is all I do. So I figured let's just, you know not use a mic at all and try it. Okay. So I meditated shuffle. I laid out all the cards, but before we jump in, I do want to mention that if you remember on my YouTube channel and for $4.99, you could become a member. I'm discounting it and offering a new webinar series, um, on life purpose. So many of us, many of my clients have come to me. I want to know what my purpose is. I don't know what my purpose is, blah, blah, blah. So this webinar is to educate you what that is really all about because you really are already living on purpose. You're living your purpose, okay? We all have a blueprint before we arrive. We we decide this contract with God before we enter this particular lifetime. And that's all laid out for you. But I think we need to bring it into our conscious awareness, how we can really live it on, on an authentic level and really connect with our life purpose on a very deep level level. So that's what my webinar is all about. I'm really excited. It's going to kick off a series of many more to come. Um, I traditionally charge a lot more for this. The membership is usually at a higher rate, but I'm offering it to all my members. So check it out in the description box below. Would love for you to join me. Really, really excited about doing this for you all. Um, okay. So oof, overall energy, you receive time to nap. Okay. So looks like exactly what it's saying is that we're going to need a lot of rest this next lunar cycle, right? As we move into the big conjunction on December 21st. And I'm not even going to get into that right now because this is all about the new moon in Scorpio. So definitely there's a call to rest, take care of yourself, self-care, self-love, taking the time out, um, rejuvenating your body, doing things that you really love, spa day meditation, yoga, tai chi, the body-mind connection. Very, very important overall energy uh, for the oracle card. Your tarot overall um, message is the ten of wands. This is from the bottom of the deck. Ooh. So endings. Yes, this makes sense. Um, time to lighten the load, my friends. You've been carrying maybe a very, very heavy burden. This is why you need to rest. You need to take a look at what all these responsibilities are, how you can release yourself from all this heavy, heavy energy. You can see in this card, you know, she's traveled a long way. She's come across the mountain and she's come down and now she's here. So this is you in the now. This is you right now deciding to almost get home and what it is that you need to release, right? So you're very close to releasing. Mm. So there you go, guys. Ten of Wands, all about releasing. And um, all the cards you have here, other than a couple of, let's see, you have the Queen of Cups. I'll show you all these when we kind of dive in. Um, and a Major Arcana of the Moon. They're all Wands cards. So this is about this strong drive to complete, to um, finish up cycles in your life, to release because maybe you've been super uber determined to, you know, move forward and, you know, create the life that you want. But now it's time to reflect. So even though, okay, Mars is now moving forward, Mercury is out of shadow, the Scorpio energy is about reflection, okay, because it's all about death, sex, and rebirth, but it also pushes us to understand what is our life purpose. So many of you could be questioning what that is, okay, or feeling like you want to make a major transformation in your life. That will come, okay? You are to not to reinvent the wheel here. I talked about this yesterday in my weekly tarot uh, readings. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll put it up here, here here <laughs> so you can check it out uh, each zodiac sign is time stamped so um, if that makes sense it's time to rest not make any major changes or at least to release some of this heavy burden that you've been carrying because you need to face some fears okay so your current situation this is you who you are right now you receive the moon ah very very cool 
Okay, so this could be from the cycle, full moon cycle from before, where maybe you feel like you're drowning, you feel like you don't know what's going on, you feel like your life might be upside down. Um, but what I'm picking up here mostly is that you need to face your fears. Let me put my glasses on. I forgot to do that. Ah, that helps. There we are. So the moon, um, again, is very Piscean energy. You can see the two wolves here barking at the moon. This kind of indicates this energy of like you don't really know where you're going, but you're carrying this heavy load. You're exhausted. You need you need a break. Um, so that's what you're going to do. You're going to face your fears. Um, you're going to um, release any blocks, okay? Because the moon does talk about fear-based blocks from past experiences that stop you from moving forward because this is all about going with the flow. This is about uh, coming to terms with what needs to purge, right? Scorpio is all about purging. What doesn't serve you anymore? And I do feel like this is a final push to purge. Um, that's why we're having so many planets, uh, planetary alignments in Scorpio, right? So Mercury moved back um, into Scorpio. What else is going on? Aries. Well, Aries um, is moving forward. I mean, Mars is moving forward in Aries right now. Uh, there was something else going on with Scorpio, and I can't remember what it is other than, oh, we're in. Sun is in Scorpio. Hello. So, um, yeah, this this need to kind of maybe really feel like if there's self self deception or something going on around you that is making you feel uncomfortable, it's time to face it. Let's face it. That's the bottom line, right? But it's also about not pushing or forcing this particular situation, going with the flow, because it could be a very emotional time as you come to terms with what it is that you need to release. You could be not sure what that is and rest, right? Taking good care of yourself. Um, what needs to be seen is the five of pentacles. Okay, so you could be struggling financially. You could be feeling left out in the cold. That's what this is all about, all right? Uh, maybe feeling like you don't have the proper support that you need. Look how she's kind of just sitting on the ground with her head down, right? Five of pentacles above her. It's not always necessarily about money, but this could be job loss. This could be something that did affect your financial situation. Um, however, this is the energy of not getting up and doing something about it, right? So you can see behind her, see this key? You know, if she just gets up, picks up the key, she can unlock the door and move forward. Yes, sometimes that's easier said than done, but this is what's holding you up. So this is what's to bring you clarity. There is help. The light here is, um, um, oh my God, I'm having a senior moment. Indicative of God, God energy coming in to say, I'm here to help you, um, whether it's God, prayer, or people in your life or financial situation where you can get some kind of um, generosity, okay, moving to from the five into the six, you can do it, right? You just need to get up. So this is what needs to be seen in your particular situation right now as you matriculate through this next 30-day cycle. Um, okay, this needs to be released. So you need to release ah, the need for action. You need to release wanting to push to move forward. This is the eight of wands. This is waiting for swift communication, hoping delays are going to be over soon. Um, yeah. So as scary as that is, <laughs> you know, because maybe you're waiting for some news that can financially change your situation. Um, that could be very debilitating. Eight of wands, delays are over. What needs to be released? Hmm. You know, I think I think it's just a matter of catching up with some rest. And I know that feels like you're not putting that key in the door, but sometimes you just need to rest. That's a priority over over and above wanting to push forward. Remember, you have all these wands, all this wands energy here where you you've been pushing yourself. You've been determined. You are you've been building and you've been ambitious and creating. And this next 30 days is about not doing that taking some time out to rest, really looking at what you do need to release. Fears, fears, right? The moon card is fears about money, fear about your future, fear about what's going on in the world, right? 
Um, don't get caught up. Focus on yourself. Uh, get some responsibilities off your plate. It's 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 a lot. It's a lot to handle emotionally. I get it, but I feel like there's help. There's help for you. Reach out to the people that you love. Reach out to the people that can help you. Okay. Um, get a reading, right? I know financially if things are tough, that's probably the last thing you want to spend money on, but that will bring more clarity in for you. And I'm available for, for um, private readings, just FYI, okay? So card number four is um, the energy you need to harness and use, okay? So this is about another wands card. You got the nine of wands. This is about harnessing um, and not throwing in the towel. So you're to rest and go with the flow, Okay, but don't give up either. Okay, I feel like if you want to, you want to give up instead of releasing, and there's a difference, right? There's a difference in looking at what's really been weighing you down, and like even if it's as simple, right? So Scorpio says, you know, clean out your closets, create space so you can breathe. If you're going to take time out to rest, purge, do the little things too that can make a big difference. Feel like you've lighten the load, maybe do a garage sale, right? Um, do something about, you know, cleaning the decks as far as your environment. That can be very helpful. Asking for help as well from the ones that you love. Um, Nine of Wands is... Hmm, you'd be feeling wounded too because this is my Wounded Warrior card. You're feeling wounded. You're feeling really hurt. You're feeling like, when is it going to be my time, you know? Um, but look, this is this is a 30-day cycle. This, this, this energy of not knowing who you are or where you're going or when things are going to shift and change for you is a moment in time, okay? The astrological alignments have very much to do with what we're experiencing right now as we prep and move into 2021. This is like that last hurdle, Okay. So harness this energy of I am going to be victorious um, about moving to what I need to release in my life in a very healthy and loving way, uh, letting go of any pain and anguish of feeling left out of in the cold, abandoned. Okay, there could be some abandonment issues um, because the moon card is very emotional, so we have that playing into it. This is about having faith, uh, releasing any confusion. Mm. Um, looking how, looking at how far you've come too can help you kind of change your perspective on what you have accomplished in your life this year. Okay. That's very, that's very empowering. So harness how far you've come, know that you're so close and dedicated to your victory that you will get there. I do see a positive outcome. We are getting there. So, um, Get organized. That's the other thing the Nine of Wands talks about. Um, be patient with yourself. Persevere. Persevere, but don't push. Okay, because again, this is about purging, right? It's 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 a it's a tricky dichotomy because I think if you have the conscious awareness that you want to purge, and you could do those healthy things to release without holding on to the emotional fear. That's different, okay? You're not going to push through in fear. You're not going to push through your situation um, because you just want you just want to get to, you know, the accolades or to the end goal, okay? Because that's not going to work, and that's maybe why you might feel really, really tired. And if you are feeling that way, which a lot of us are right now, it's a very heavy energy. Rest. Take care of yourself. Just. You know, monitor what's going on with your physical body, okay? And that's going to be the number one single signal of what is best for you, okay? And how you need to take care of yourself, all right? Now, um, card number five is where to focus your attention. Yep, here you go. You got the Queen of Cups. She's all about releasing and letting go. <laughs> Look how powerful she is. Look how her arms are up in the air. Like she's surrendering. To the confusion, she's surrendering to God, the universe. Maybe um, some water energy would be really good for you at this time. Scorpio's water as well, the water element. Maybe if you can t spend some time by a lake or a beach, get outside or like um, 
go to like do a spa day okay get in touch more with your emotions because that's what the queen of cups is all about she knows who she is she's very powerful um there's this cup here like look how the energy is moving around her right and it's coming in to her cup and then kind of circulating around her definitely check out my energy healing meditations over on my other channel lauren larson and I'll tag that up here for you as well because I've been trying to help people be more self-reliant or sharing uh, the gift of knowing how to meditate and use your energy to cultivate your own energy, to feel your own energy. And that's what this card reminds me of. I mean, it's just a very, very, very powerful energy here for you. And then your final up outcome card is the Three of Wands. This is your blessing this is um all about this new opportunity coming in for you and with the three of wands here this is like you're going to see your ships coming in okay by the next lunar cycle by the next um new moon okay wow you're going to get that fire energy back in your belly look at that you're going to be able to celebrate your wins and this is like um you know the eight of wands here in the past Okay, I feel like this communication is going to finally come to you, okay, but when it's time. So you don't want to push to the envelope where it makes you sick and exhausted, but to let it happen naturally, okay? Three of Wands is also stepping back, right, to review and assess your situation. Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, wow. And now the Three of Wands. Um... This is all about a huge growth opportunity for you. Your ships are finally coming in. Um, maybe there's some more work that's needed, but you are on the right path, my friends. Okay, so if you're questioning your life purpose, because that's what Scorpio is all about, it makes you authentically dig deep to really know who you are. So if you're questioning, am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right path? Um, am I going to find my success? Am I going to be able to release some of these financial burdens, these emotional burdens, release these fears? Wow. Yes, you will. Okay. You are on the right path and you're going to come to understand this. All right. Setting new goals for yourself. This could be some kind of new relationship. This could be a raise, a promotion. This is all about setting goals for your future, being on the right path. You've done the work from the ace to the two right? Two, the two of wands is all about doing the work. And now with the three of wands, you're, you're starting to see all the positivity of your efforts coming to fruition. So really, really amazing reading guys. I love this for you. I think it's, I think it fits quite definitely. It fits, the energy fits really well with this new moon, um, in Scorpio and what we need to really consider and look at in our lives. Um, coming to terms with our purpose, creating new beginnings and the realization of our pur purpose and why we're here and knowing and feeling like we've stepping in that power because we know that we, we have realized our purpose and we're going to grow that. So just don't make yourself too crazy. <laughs> I did a reading on Lauren Larson. There's an energy of remembrance here too. Okay. And uh, I got the cosmic flower, and that is all about coming home to self, the cosmic flower. So that same energy is over there as well. If you want to check out that reading, that might give you some additional insight. So again, this is about carving out that brand new path for yourself. It is coming to fruition, um, but you're to use um, this energy of discernment and cleaning out, okay, purging, um, but living in integrity, staying in integrity integrity um and that message came through the reading before that so wow it's amazing how the energy of the tarot definitely comes through um i mean the energy of astrology comes through the tarot when we need to hear it the, the most but this is definitely not a time to doubt yourself um definitely pay attention because this is a natural transformation of you coming to terms with your true self and I'm going to do a pineal gland and a true self meditation as well for you guys so you can join in 
and connect to that energy to kind of raise your vibration, which I think would be really, really helpful at this time because Scorpio, hold on. There we go. Sorry. My computer went dark. Um, Scorpio can really kick your fanny. You know, I mean, it's, it's a very heavy duty, um, energy. Okay. So don't try and re reinvent the wheel. Stay on task with what you know, because you're at the nine of wands. You're going to be illuminated about the direction that you're going in, that knowing that you made the right decisions in your life, facing your fears, moon, getting back to that again. Very, very important that you have faith, you regroup. Um, maybe right now is not the time to push or force, but to rest and know and make a list of what you want to purge. Okay, it's about purging, and that's going to make make you feel better. You're going to feel lighter, okay? It's about releasing what doesn't serve you anymore. Remember, you want to turn this 10 into a 1 so you can restart the cycle all over again, all right? So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. God bless you. Make sure you catch me on TikTok. If you're a TikToker, I go live there several days a week. Um, also, go live on Instagram at 4 p.m. every Thursday, um, and love, love doing that. I kind of just recently incorporated that into my schedule. And on Tuesdays, I go live on changeyourenergy.com. You can ask me a question on all these platforms. I connect with you guys. It's all about you. Mwah. Love you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great new moon, guys. Peace out. All right, bye.